Good morning, guys. It's Brother Paul here. I want to share an interesting dream I had this morning. I um, I went to bed in prayer last night asking God, like I said, what kind of, how's the world? You forgive me if I'm waving a lot. There's, there's wasps everywhere around here. Um, I was telling God I'm, I'm noticing a lot of sadness everywhere, and I'm noticing a lot of people that are um, they're, they're suffering, you know. And uh, I said, show me how I should look at it through your eyes. So he did. So for those new to the channel that don't know this about me, I was once upon a time in my younger days a uh, pro wrestler. So in this dream, he showed me that setting. So basically when you're on the road as an athlete in any sport, especially when you're trying to make the big leagues, uh, it's competitive and uh, it's, it was it was showing me like people were preparing to go do shows and it had it had the behind the scenes stuff it had like I saw the the travel coordinators I saw the ring crew I saw the promoters and it was interesting because again for those of you who watch my channel you guys are gonna understand all this for those that are new to the channel I have to explain this part so whenever the Holy Spirit is showing me something directly from him. He shows me a guy that I grew up with, with the name Chris. And that I know is a representation of Jesus Christ. But when I see, and this is interesting because it shows a guy named Chris Jericho, who's a pro wrestler in the big leagues and he's running AEW right now. And when I see him in dreams, it means it's a lesson from the Holy Spirit. And because me and him, we both grew up in the same city and I knew him when I first started out. He, he's, he's a guy that is shown to me like he's, it's the Holy Spirit teaching me a lesson. So now that I said that, I'll continue with the dream. So there was this one setting in the dream and it showed everybody about to get interviewed by the big boss. So in the dream, it's a representation of Vince McMahon, but you, I wasn't showing him, but it was it was an understanding of that's who we were all trying to get a job with. But <clears throat> for some reason, I was my age now, which would not make sense. Why would a guy my age at 54 want to be a, a pro wrestler? I mean, it does happen, but it's usually guys that never quit. In my dream setting, it was me showing up for a job interview. And I saw everybody from different walks of life throughout my life I, I actually saw a guy named Jerry I haven't seen him or thought of him since I was probably 11 or 12 years old so anyway everybody was going through their interviews and I saw everybody stressing out and in my dream I was extremely calm and it was getting late in the day so I just told everybody well I'm gonna go back to the hotel and as I was walking out the thought hit me that I was going to be interviewed not for a wrestling job but a travel coordinator so I went to bed boom and that's when I woke up so like I woke up thinking okay that is a really weird ending to that dream I asked God like what are you, what are you trying to tell me in this dream and the, the Holy Spirit answered immediately that every time we every time we we share the gospel with somebody every time we tell them the truth about who God is and how we get to God through Jesus Christ we're we're in a way a travel coordinator do you understand like you're giving them the proper direction to get to the almighty God which is our end destination so anyway I wanted to share that I know that this was directly answered for me but I wanted to share for you guys to give you a different perspective every time you lead somebody to God, you're in a way being a travel guide. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy your Sabbath, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Shalom.